Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Buddha Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to do control wiring of ACV, that's a air circuit breaker. So before we start this session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So this is the control wiring diagram of the air circuit breaker. We will go through it one by one. So first let's discuss about its components. So here it is used. This is the auxiliary power supply of the control wiring of the ACB. So this is 220 volt supply sources that's single phase another is that's a limit switch or we can say micro switch for a spring charge motor that's that detects actually maximum limit or tension of the spring charge so so this is the spring charge micro limit switch and this is the actually universal motor for a spring charge and now another one is in case of a spring charge that uh, this indicator will glow so this is indicated so this indicator is for a spring charged motor now another one is so this is tn switch switch where we have a trip neutral and close so this is for locally operated ACB we can control from this TNC switch another block is auxiliary contact so this is for auxiliary contact so which is block inside the ACB through this we can take the status of the ACB and we can use this to operate the ACB now another is this contactor is all this is also auxiliary contactor so this is used for in trip six system okay now another one this one is nc push button so this is for reset in case of trip the fault is clear then we if we press this one it will automatically reset okay and this one is micro switch for this will only operate under the any fault condition okay and through this actually this contactor is operating now another is sc means sun coil this is for tripping purpose tripping purpose of the acb and this is closing coil this is for close the or make the circuit and this is for UVR under voltage relay in case of any phase or voltage is unpresent at that condition what happened this will trip the circuit trip the ACB and another these are the indicator which is for monitoring the air circuit breaker means red one is for on off for this green one and trip for yellow one so these are the major component of the acb so we have to know these components if we are going to perform any installation or design or maintenance work okay so now let's start how actually power through and controlling devices works actually so first let's give the neutral wherever required so this is the neutral from the mcb and from the output of this mcb it is going like this as you can see and neutral is going to where universal motor then this indicator is for monitor the spring charge whether a spring is charged or not then another is this indicate this neutral is going to sc 
sun coil and then for closing coil then for uvr and then for on off and trip indicator finally it is going to also auxiliary contactor coil terminal a2 so this is also 20 to 20 operated contactor now let's come to phase side so actually how it is working we'll discuss one by one so first let's come to the section of the spring charge motor or spring section how actually a spring is charged through this motor so from the output of this breaker it is going page is going to common point of the micro switch or limit switch you can say now from the nc contact of from the nc contact of micro switch it is going to the universal motor which is actually coupled with the spring okay so initially when a spring is not charged that means the power is coming through this common point and through this nc contact it is running once a spring is charged that means this micro switch or limit switch will get activated means pushed by the norm knob and then it is activated finally power this nc become ano okay it means power disconnected when the spring is fully charged so at that condition motor will be off now at the same time what happened this nc become ano then ano become nc so this power is actually shifted to this indicator so once the spring is charged that means that means uh, a spring is charged so here this indicator is showing a spring is charged that means power is flowing through this nc contact now this section is completed now we move to this local t local operated tnc switch so how actually we are controlling the acb through this tnc switch so we if we trace the phase line so we can loop it from here as well okay from the common point of this micro switch and where we connect it directly to neutral section of this pnc switch now first list complete the wiring for trip side so how actually trip once we turn this knob towards this trip side it means this phase supply okay will travel like this and it will reach to ano contact of this acb so when actually acb is on at that condition actually this nob and o contact become nc means this is always in nc that's why power is continuously passing through this and it will reach to this sun coil if this power will get phase through this and neutral from here it means this coil get activated and it will push the plunger towards the contact then it will finally trip the circuit okay in case of fault as well we have a microcontroller micro logic controllers display so as for the setting it will give the command as well to the short circuit uh, sun coil and it will trip the breaker once trip the breaker okay what happened 
breaker will go in which mode off mode we can say so off mode that means here as you know that this is phase supply and this is also going to over here okay so in off condition actually this is nc nc means nc so this is going over here in off condition this is over here so it is it will glow if it is glowing that means our acb is in off condition now this side so once if fault is cleared then we will select this knob to switch on the breaker then we have to turn this knob towards this side okay when we move or turn this knob towards this side means automatically this phase will travel like this and through the nc contact of this nc contact of the auxiliary contact of the air circuit breaker now this is actually interlocked with this contactor so it is going through this nc okay nc okay so if we do not have any fault at that condition actually motor is already in off condition okay now we want to so make the circuit how to make it so power will flow like this nc is nc in off condition and this this allow the power so it will travel and it will reach to this nc means nc at what condition it is nc means if there is no any fault it is already nc so it will allow the power and it will move to this closing coil once the closing coil will get a power supply then it will close the acb hitting by this plunger now another one is under voltage relay so this is only for if we do not have any voltage present over here so it will get tripped this circuit breaker even we have set the under voltage over voltage at that condition also it will be it will get the trip of the circuit breaker okay now so this section is for tripping if any fault occurs at that condition what will happen so actually power is flowing like this if you look over here and over here we have a reset push button and see which is nc and through this power is actually passing and it is over here it is just checking over here so it is directly going to a1 supply of this so when any fault occurs it means no this no becomes nc and it is going like this it means this contractor get activated and as well at the same time the strip indicator will glow and <coughs> it will hold the circuit so this one is actually implementing holding circuit if you want to know more about contactor basics so i have already uploaded to this simple one video uh, what is contactor how it works and what are the components inside it okay how to do simple wiring like latching circuit and holding circuit in my previous video you can check it over there to learn more so this is actually holding circuit now it means if if due to any fault at that time or at at that time acb will go will be in trip mode so trip mode during the trip mode so during the trip mode if we have a still uh, like a fault if we want to close the circuit through this so if it isn't fault that means our contractor is activated 
and this nc is actually no that's why if we want to try or uh, forcefully or mistakenly to close this breaker if there is any trip falls at that kind of a condition this will not allow this contractor will not allow to activate the closing coil because this is indicated okay this is the actually auxiliary contactor so in this way actually can do the control wiring of this ACB so here we have uh, another one as well on indicator in case of on of the breaker it will be glowing and if there is a uh, fault resolve then we can reset this contactor with the help of this reset button and then again it will be back to the normal okay so hope you guys understand about how to do the control wiring of this acv okay so thank you for watching this video please like share comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you famous